Hello viewers and subscribers. We are back again this week. And we continue our chat with uh, one of King Lopengula's descendants, Israel Sizemda, is going to talk about uh, a gathering that is going to happen, uh, a heritage day gathering that is going to happen. He's going to say more about the venue and what the event is all about. Welcome to the program, Mda. Uh, policy again once again i'm happy to be here uh, i just want to explain a little bit about the, the, the program basically what is happening that we started uh, last year in june i mean in september we know that uh, in here in south africa september is heritage month so last year i proposed a fun run walk with the to, to, to put the municipality to, to have a fund Basically, what we have is that uh, we've been noticing that uh, some of the heritage sites that are found around uh, around Grimstown or Fingo Village are not recognized. So basically, the 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 the, the fund run work was was gonna go through all these all these heritage sites just to highlight the the, 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 the heritage sites. So um, we started that last year, but uh, because of COVID-19, we couldn't hold the, 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 the event. So what we decided basically, we did uh, with the National Arts Festival, we did a documentary. So I've got the documentary now. But the documentary actually takes the person through all the heritage sites that we found around around Fingo Village, which includes a Kazini Memorial Precinct, where we had uh, about nine wars basically that were fought here. And then uh, we have uh, close by the, 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 the Lobin Ula place, and then we have the, 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 the household where the, 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 the Lobin Ulas used to live. And then we've got other heritage sites around the Fingo Village, which are, are of significant. And so we decided that uh, a marathon would be quite uh, an, an ideal thing to have that people can be able to actually see and view the same time while at the same time running or having fun. So um, we couldn't hold the, 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 the event last year. So we ended up doing the, the document. I've got the, the document I finished. I uh, just need to be copyright and it will be available on YouTube. And then this year, we were hoping that uh, Will be will host the the, 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 the the games with the municipality of Makana, Makana municipality. And uh, since it's gonna be in September, and we know that uh, in September we usually have the uh, the king's illegal commemoration. So what we decided to study is, is it to that uh, maybe for the first time it will be an ideal that we have the, the, the commemoration here in, in, in Makanda. So hence uh, I proposed, uh, I wrote a letter to the Highlanders FC and proposed that maybe they should come to the side and, and, and play and, and with one of the local teams. So basically during the, the uh, King's Legal commemoration, we'll, we'll be having some games also will be having cultural activities. And uh, what is the most important thing during the time, we also want to introduce the family to the public, the family of those living with us. And so uh, we are having the, 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 this event. This the most important thing is to, to bring the, 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 the very people together, we want the, uh, the, the traditional leaders, cultural activists, community members, to come and gather here in, in, in Makanda to actually meet the family. And then from there, then we can discuss a way forward with the, on, uh, with the, with the elders, the traditional people and the family on how to, to reconstruct or how to reconstruct the the the, 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 the uh, Okay, uh, you've spoken about some of the things that will be on offer. 
and you say that you've mentioned, you've written to Highlanders. Did you, have you received any response from them as yet? I haven't received any response from yet, from them yet. I was hoping because I only sent the letter, I think it's a week, it's a second week or so. I was hoping at least I would have some response by now, but I don't know what is happening. I'll just give them some time and see what's happening. Because I don't know what, what is happening on, on the other side of the border. Because I'm here in South Africa. So what is happening? Because whether it takes longer to, 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 to get the email there or what, I don't know. But I'll send the email. I'm hoping that they will respond. Because um, for them to be here, it will be it's very crucial. And it will also help to bring unity within the, 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 the family and within the many people in the whole world with the Santa region. So I think for them, I, I would be happy if they would actually consider and uh, actually come here and, and, and be part of this game and uh, meet the family. As I explained also earlier on, on, on our earlier interview, as I said, I'll also be happy that uh, uh, Bulelade will also come here. It's, it's a period that I don't have the AMAP contact, so I can, otherwise I will, I will contact him and, uh, and make sure that he, he also comes here. He's carry one this this event to bring everybody here to see the, 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 the developed nation and to see and to meet the royal family. That is the, that is the Okay, yeah, uh, talking about Bulilani, we've just had an interview with uh, his spokesperson about something else. So after this interview, we'll send you the links, I mean, the contacts of his spokesperson, maybe you can take it from there. Now, speaking about the yeah. unity that you're talking about, uh, I don't know if you already know that the people of Mkwagas are divided already. Yes, we spoke last time and you said clearly that uh, the only people who can claim uh, ascendancy to the throne or to reconstruct the Mtwagas nation are those who are descendants of King of Bengula, which is the general understanding even back home. But now, uh, I don't know if you have, you have heard about this, the people are divided because there are some, as we speak right now, there are some who are saying the evidence should go back home on the 28th because some king is going to be ascending to the throne on the 29th. So I think it is very crucial for uh, this unity. But what would you say about those that are continuing to further divide the people by claiming that they are kings? I think uh, the people uh, who are pushing this rally basically are driven by greed. So I think uh, the people of Mtogaz should actually look and see what is actually driving these people to do what they are doing? Because we told them that this is a cultural event. It needs to be done according to Indemele customs. And we need to make sure that everything that we do that is aligned with, with our traditional values. So you, can, you cannot put uh, or install a king without actually recognizing that the, the, the the, the, the traditional values or the customs of, 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 of that of that nation. So if that's how they, they, they do things, then it means that's not in the very culture, they are doing their own thing. But if it's a cultural thing and in the very thing, then they understand how in the very king is installed, how things should be done this time. So I think that the very people should also question themselves. What is driving these people to do what they are doing? Are they really in for, for to, to, to see that the, 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 the many people are restored in, in, in a peaceful way and in unity? That is what is important because whatever they are doing there, if people, it's not gonna get support. That's why the government, the government of Zimbabwe has, hasn't been supporting that. That's why the South African government hasn't been supporting it. It's because they see the way it's handled. We need to handle this, with, with, you know, with, with, with uh, clean hands. You know, understanding our custom and understanding the the, the, the traditional value that it it, it, it has in, in terms of of the, of the nation. Yeah. And now, uh, how many people are you expecting to be at this event? 
the September event. Thing that it should be an annual thing, it's not only a one time thing, it's going to be an annual thing. One people to, 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 to because the graves of Lomi Angola, the descendants of Lomi Angola, are here. We cannot run away from that. Nobody's going to make sure that those things are they vanish out of the They're not going to vanish. They're here. The Alpan Zobi Lomi Angola is here. Rhodes Lomi Angola is here. How do you install a king without having? To come and 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 see the 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 the, the, the remains of, of of the of the last reigning king. That's my question. How do they? Because before once we do all these things, people needs to make sure that we set foot on those graves. We do the ritual thing, which is which is which is customary to to to, to, to the, the very people. Then from there, then we can actually take meet take the family with the person that we have chosen or the, 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 the traditional people have chosen and then we go with him to, to Zimbabwe and then we install the king but if you if you just gonna take it from uh, from halfway it's not gonna work out that's my problem yes and then uh, generally how many people from Matebeleland have you hosted in I mean I, there are graves there there is a heritage site there there are King Lopengula lodges I think. Uh, how many people from Matemala land have been able to visit and maybe try and find out this rich history that you have there? There are many. Uh, I mean, I've heard the president of uh, of Highlanders here in 2016. They came here. I had uh, Prince uh, Prince Zita uh, Galanga. He, he, he came here and some traditional leaders from from from, from Abombofu, Abombofu, Abokumete. In Jovek, I, 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 I've met a lot of other people in this country who, who sympathize with what we're doing. And we want to see, in fact, uh, that, that the, 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 the kingship is restored in a, in a peaceful and in, 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 in accordance with, with, with our custom. So uh, we're expecting a lot from Tobek, but as we are saying that there is division, I don't know if people will actually be willing to come. But I've, I've received so many responses that from people who are actually willing to come. And those who are actually critical, we don't have a problem with that. But uh, I've received a lot of responses from people who want to come. Basically. But um, I think, uh, if we can clarify the, 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 the issue between me and, 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 and Bulelani or between Bulelani and the family, I think we can, people can, can I can, I think we can have a, a lot of people coming here. And let me just say this once again, I uh, wish people can truly understand that I grew up with Bulelani. I don't have issues with Bulelani. As far as I know, he doesn't have issues with me. We slept in one bed, We've done a lot of things together. And uh, any person who's trying to perpetrate, I mean, to, to perpetuate the, 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 the story of, of division, it is not true. The Lebele people must understand from today that this family is not, is not divided. There's no people who are divided in this family. The only people who are dividing this people, this family are the greedy people who got the, 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 their mindset set on, on, on whatever that they, 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 they hope to achieve. But, and then, and then they've driven a, 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 a gap, a, a division between me and Mulelani. But me and Mulelani, we have, we, we've been friends. The whole family, we get along together. So any developing person, Who's thinking they 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 they, they, they this harmony in that family? There's no such a thing. From today, and the very people must understand that we are united, and we are a peaceful family. That's one thing they should understand. We are a peaceful family. Hence, we want to bring that peace into in Zimbabwe and bring unity for the people. That's all that we need. Any other thing that happens after that would be just on. on, on to determine by the people themselves. But what we want right now is that people should come here and meet 
a peaceful family and meet the community and meet the, 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 and see the graves of where the, 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 they are, uh, they are to say, I mean, they are forefathers. I, I think it, that, it, that is the only reason that they are doing this. Okay, and speaking about you and Bulelani, if I can throw you back, uh, you say that you grew up together, you've been friends. Have you met after he has been in court installed as the king? No, I haven't met him. So. You have, but you have been communicating. No, 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 no. What, 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 is, what happened basically I've seen that the, the people who have been pushing this agenda have tried to put a, 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 a dividing line between me and create this story that there's no peace between me and Mulan. And that is not true. That's what they've been pushing. But the, the, the real story, I think if you can put Mulan right now and ask him if he's got a problem with me, I'll be very happy if you can tell me what, what's his problem. As far as I know, I don't have, I don't know any, any problems between me and him. And who are these people in your view? Are they people who are close to him? Are they people who are family members? Are they just general people? It's the people who have installed him as the king. The, the people who have been pushing that agenda are the ones. Because if they understood the, 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 the cultural values, they should say to Bulelani, Bulelani, we understand we will need you as a king. But first, let's go back to our roots. Let's go back to Grimstown. Let's go back where the whole thing ended and begin from there. That is my plan. I mean, that, that's what I was hoping that they, they would say. Okay. But uh, they, they, what, what I've seen, they're doing the, 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 the opposite. What they, what they want to achieve, I do not know. I'll be very happy if I can understand what is, that, what is their main purpose of this. Okay, we'll try We'll try and talk to some of these people. Uh, but now going back to the event, because that is what we want to dedicate much time to. Um, you spoke about a documentary that has been- uh, okay, 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 can, I, can I stop you there? Why don't you ask them, the people in the world, why is it that they don't want to come to see the graves? Why is it so difficult for them to come and see the graves? Um, I think- They can ask me that question. Mm. I, I think honestly, the people do want because the people uh, of Matevelen. Let me tell you this: the people of Matevelen, as I know them, really love their roots, and they still hold King Lopengula and King Mziligas and their descendants and their descendants very dear in their hearts. But I think the lack of knowledge, like I myself, got to know about this late last year. So, I think it is okay. the, the knowledge has been lacking. They haven't been knowing because they were told that there is a grave of Ukuluman who never became a king, but they've been touring that place in the Northwest. So I believe that if more uh, marketing or publicity is done around these things, let me guarantee you the people will come there. I don't know about these other family members and these ones who are fighting for the king uh, kingdom, if they'll be able to come, but generally the people of material land, I can assure you, they will come. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. I would be so happy that, you know, for once in our lifetime, we can put our differences and just come and, 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 and have a good time in, in, in my family. Any person, everybody is welcome. I'll be happy to see all the lovely people from all over the world coming here and celebrating the commemoration of King Nzulika as a unity, as a peaceful, united, nation that is my interest that is what i want to do okay uh, and then the documentary uh, well, what does it contain does it show these places does it have some historical yeah. background to these places no the, 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 the documentary is but uh, what we did we started from the beginning where the, the marathon was supposed to start from ekazini ekazini prison memorial prison so we went through like a virtual marathon. So we went through all the, the heritage sites, including the Lobing Last site. And then we interviewed some professors and some, some academic people who shared some 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 knowledge of their history of their history. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great video to, to watch this guy because it will take the person through the, 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 the whole uh, village, this guy, and see some wonderful and some of the things that have actually hindered us in terms of progressing forward. Because 
as we understand that uh, we've been um, we had a problem of, of waste management here. Yeah? So those are one some of the problems basically that we, we've been faced with here in Queenstown. So some of the events that we want to hold, we can't because of the, the problem of free time waste management. And uh, the Lobingula graves are lying next to one big waste dump basically. So to, 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 to run through that, it will be difficult. So it's one of the things that we should accept the COVID. It's one of the things that we need to we are struggling to, 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 to remove this kind because um, the resources here are, are quite inadequate. So, and so I'm hoping that uh, there will be, we might receive some more funding so that we can clean some of the, 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 the routes that we can say, the, 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 the marathon we go through. So that when people come here, they can actually see a nice, beautiful landscape and they have fun because uh, the whole month of September, in fact, we were hoping to have the uh, heritage games from the 1st of September up to the, 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 the last day of September. As so I said earlier on that, we know that uh, September is heritage month. So I want the, the Ndebele people to come here and perform. We want to see the Ndebele culture here. We want to see them dance. I want people to see all in the very culture, music, dance, you know, stories. We want to hear stories from the very, we want to see the children of from, from, from us coming here, playing here with other children. Because as I told you earlier on, some of the people, they have this, they, they, they have this notion that the, 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 the very people or the Twagazi people are foreigners, which is not because if you really treat some of them, we are from the KZN. And so we can't be foreigners here, but it just happened that uh, our forefather decided to move away and found his, his own land. That is not a, that is not a, a problem, I think. Okay. And then so, those, those who want to get in touch with you, those who want to come to this event, or those who want to tour generally in between the months, uh, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, you can. I can. I can, I can give you the, the email. The, the can you WhatsApp me or email me. The WhatsApp number it's um, as you know it's plus twenty seven oh seven three six six four nine eight four nine oh seven three six six four nine eight four nine. That's a WhatsApp number. But you start with the plus twenty seven, okay. and then uh, if, if people can email me also, which is C. Z O E M T A six one at gmail.com or Sizwe at King Lobengula Foundation. Okay. You can use yeah. it. I hope our viewers will be taking note of that. And then during the the time in between the Septembers, is there any activity that people maybe they might not have time in September, but they have time during the, the year? Are they able to come there? Are there any tourist attractions that they come there, view the graves? Are you are they allowed to come there, view the lodges, use make use of the lodge, tour the areas? Yeah. As, as, as I said earlier on, that uh, when I got here in Grahamstown, there was no route. So when I got there, I had to establish a route. For, for tourists to, to visit a place, we have to have a route basically. So the routes that I got here, when I got here, was only demarcated for the heritage sites or historical buildings that are around town. Hence, the, the, the was lake, the, 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 there was lake of, of tourism for what the, the, the township. So I had to put together a tour route. So the tour route basically, it begins from a Gazzini precinct, memorial precinct. It passes the, 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 the Lobengula homestead. It goes through the, 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 the Lobengula graves, and then it passes through the World War II cemetery, Queen Victoria cemetery. And then it ends at Mount Zion. If, at Mount Zion. If you go to Pandanama Heritage, you'll see the mountain there, Peace and Unity. That's a mountain that I've, I've, I've decorated. And then uh, right now, we're also negotiating with some, uh, with some uh, as we understand that we've got some game reserve, lots of game reserve, wild animals. 
So they also negotiated with some game reserves that people, when they are here, they can also go and see some game. And then I will also, since we were not far from the beach, from the sea, it's about 50 k's. It's the same distance from Tobek to Pretoria. So we, the, 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 there's boat, uh, boat cruises there. People can, 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 can get to hire the boat and then they can go on, on a sea cruise, basically. It takes about 30 to an hour a trip. So we've got those tours basically. People can choose what is it that they want to. And then uh, with hotels, we've got a lot of PNPs. We've got a lot of hotels around here. And uh, we've got uh, yeah, a, a, a lot of space um, in terms of accommodation. So it's a place, it's a beautiful place. It's, it's got a lot. If you, you love history, you love your heritage, uh, I think you could spend a lot of time here. Hence, uh, we decided that uh, the, the Lomengula homestead should be actually a, a cultural uh, center, cultural hub, where people can actually come and sit and spend the, 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 the whole day, in fact, in terms of, of uh, learning, if you, if you getting some, some uh, was, uh, what we've done, like uh, the, the house where they used to stay, I've changed that house into a museum. And then I would think that the, 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 the same uh, establishment, I've created an amphitheater for people to, to, to perform. And then we've also, on, a, on, on our trying to put a, a restaurant together. So when people come here, they can enjoy the beautiful uh, artwork and exhibition. They can also enjoy the African food and also have a chance to, to watch them with the, some artwork or some performance. So basically what I'm trying to say is uh, you need uh, a week or to, to come and spend here and, and see the, the, the beautiful uh, landscape and, and the culture that we have here. And yeah, I think that the, the large thing that people can gain by coming here. Okay. Yeah, and and then the Kosa culture. Yes, yes. Uh, and then talking about the graves, uh, we are left with around five minutes now. Talking about the graves, there was a time, I think it's last year or last year, part one, where I saw some sorry side of the graves being vandalized and they needed to be repaired. Have you done the work of repairing them? Uh, I got some white people who, who one of them, he owns a a mortuary to study. He, he was willing to help him to repair the, 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 the grave, but the problem is that uh, the, the yard is not fenced. You know, there's no gate. The gate, they, they broke the gate, so people can, they just walk in and out. So he was like, he can't fix the graves before we can actually close the whole yard. So that was a problem. And uh, since then, I've been trying to, to raise some funds instead, but uh, it's been hard uh, because I haven't received much. That's why I'm happy that uh, we are having this communication so that uh, I, the, the, the people on the, the talk of the people can actually understand what is happening on this side because I have been alone and trying to run this and do all the, 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 the foundation uh, uh, duties basically and it's been difficult so that's one of the problems that we've been having to to restore those, those graves okay one of our uh, maybe as a parting shot uh what would you say obviously the i'm told as business people are listening here and now mm -hmm. i hear a cry for assistance or a cry mm -hmm. for people to hold hands and work together in trying to bring this dignity to the remains of uh, the descendants of the last king of Magdalene. What would you say to them right now? I would say if any person can drop in a, a, a coin, a one cent, because I know how many people, five million, if any person just drop one cent for me, plus one cent for me, and get that so that, uh, and collect that, I think it will make a, a tremendous amount of money. And we can be able to actually fix and restore the, the whole property where, where the graves are, you know. So 
so that we can have something that we can be proud of here in the Eastern Cape. And also the, 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 the household is also not in a, in a good shape. It needs some, some, some refurbishment. So I'll be happy those who can afford, can actually lend a hand. And especially for the games, uh, the, 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 the commemoration of King Zanigazi on the 10th of September, I'll be happy. That is the most important thing. I'll be happy if that people can drop in whatever they, they have so that we make sure that that, 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 that day is, is a success, which is the 10th of September. So whatever person has, I'm happy that people can drop in a coin. It's better than nothing. OK. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my brother, for this. Uh, we'll try again to bring you here next week, time allowing on your side, of course, because we're always here. And we would like to every week have something because I believe that we need to revive this history. We need to re bring back this connection of the yeah. people of Matemeland with their history, with their foundation and with their beginnings. So thank you very much for having this time, sharing this with us. Please avail yourself again, again next week. If it's not next week, any other time that you'll be free, we're always there for you. Uh, next week is fine Friday, I think. Next week, Friday, I can skip and talk again. Because I'm, what I'm, my, my main priority is to make sure that the September event, especially the 10th of September, is a success. That is the most important day for me, more than the, any other days. But that 10th of September, because if all them talkers, the people come here to Princeton Makanda, that will make an impact even in the South African government, even in the Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwean government. I think that will have an impact. So we need to gather here as a peaceful and a united nation. We gather here. We have all our ceremonial uh, 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 things that we need to do. We do them. We perform them. After that, we can all move together as one unity to Zimbabwe and then install the king. That is my interest to make sure that we have the king once and for all. Who they, they choose, it, yeah, it depends on the people. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Let's meet again next week. Thank you. Thank you. Sure.